Okay, now let's talk about Joe Pass. Uh, Joe Pass is one of my favorite guitar players as well, and uh, I used to see him on television because um, he was also part of uh, the late night shows. He would uh, be the guitarist in the band sometimes. And I specifically remember um, one time I saw Wes Montgomery on uh, one of the TV shows. I can't remember whether it was Joy Bishop or one of those guys back then. And uh, the guy asked Wes Montgomery, who's your favorite guitar player? And Wes said, uh, he's sitting right over there in the band. And who he was pointing to was Joe Pass. And I got, uh, I became aware of Joe Pass after um, seeing him on television all the time. I didn't know he had any records out, but I learned his name from that television show. And then one day uh, I was in a grocery store and they had a uh, Joe Pass record in, in the bins in, when I was coming up. Uh, if you, in the checkout line, there's a bin of records all of the time and the records would be marked down to 99 cents, you know, back then. And so there was a Joe Pass record, and I said, well, I can't go bad with 99 cents because I know who Joe Pass is. So I bought that particular record, and uh, that record was called For Django. Um, I think it's one of Joe's greatest records uh, as well, but it became mine, my favorite all the time. I played it until I got scratches all in it. Uh, the reason I got scratches in it was because I was trying to learn some of that stuff that he was playing on there. And um, what I noticed that a lot of his information that he was playing was inside of those chord shapes. And so I was, back then, I was just learning uh, about chords. So I just remembered that it was this particular chord. <laughs> And then I had learned this chord. So I said, okay, all right. Now, so uh, in listening to the first part of Joe's solo on Django, he's going like. I had I said, what is that note? What's that sound? And I had to figure that out by myself. What, what is that sound? Where is those notes on the guitar? But I figured it out. And once I figured it out, um, I saw that Joe used these tools all of the time. That was like that uh, whole tone augmented uh, chord. So I thought I had, oh man, that was like I couldn't believe how joyful I was that I figured out what it was that he was playing. I didn't figure out how to use it until years later, but I still figured out what it was and where it was on the guitar. And back then, that, that was all it took to bring joy to this teenager. Uh, anyway, um, I start looking at um, how Joe Pass was in his solos, how he was weaving in and out of the chord changes. And I noticed that he's shifting the chords up and down the neck and inside each chord that's where the harmonic information is. So it was really the start of me discovering my way on the guitar, uh, just that one record. And of course, after that record, I went and bought as many as I could find. Uh, he had one record that was, uh, he was with a big band. Uh, a guy by the name of uh, Joe Wilson had a big band and uh, Joe Pass was one of the featured guys in that big band, so I bought those records too as well. Uh, I just loved to hear the guy play. Um, he was a really natural, talent, talented player. Um, and then uh, in the 70s, I got a chance to see him perform with Oscar Peterson. In fact, the night I was there, they were recording a live record and uh, th that, doc that record's been documented as, as well. They were recording every night, and the night that I was there, they were recording as well. Uh, that particular group was Oscar Peterson, Joe Pass on guitar, and Nils Orsted Pedersen on bass. 
And I mean to tell you, those guys were cutting up. It was, it was amazing uh, performance that I will never forget in my life. But at that time, Joe Pass had a book that was out. And I remember the cover was orange. And I had bought this book because if there's anything about Joe Pass, I wanted to learn how he looked at the guitar. So a lot of his information was in there. Uh, about how he was looking at the car, guitar symmetrically and stuff like that. So I got him to sign my book and stuff like that, and I actually got a chance to spend some time with him and talking to him and things about that. But during that performance, I saw him doing a lot of things because that was the first time I actually got to see him live. And I saw him doing things like what I had heard before and the way that he was using the chord shapes and the way that he was... Uh, hammering on. So he would take one idea and move that idea up in minor thirds, minor third here. And he could just, he was going in and out of the guitar just like that. He can move it up in minor thirds and it would always end up going to and resolving to another chord. He could go anywhere he wanted to on the guitar, so he had full command of the guitar, but it was just amazing to watch. And so um, I'd like to perform for you um, one of these uh, standards that he loved to play all of the time. Uh, hopefully you hear some of the influences of Joe Pass come out in this recording. <laughs> 